I think I'm free for the time being, so we're going to watch some Melee together now. Ooh, okay, so, um, uh, Bronze Bracket's still going on, um, and then we got Silver and Gold also just started. So we got a lot of he heavy hitters tonight. There's actually a lot of upsets, so Unexpected Faces making it all the way to Gold Bracket. We got some newcomers in here, too. Benny, Kylo, uh, I think are new to Lom. Everyone else has been in law before, but definitely some upsets. Like Orbital's in gold, which is impressive. Hot Daniel's in gold, which is impressive. So a lot of hitters tonight, which is exciting. I don't know how a lot of these matches are going to go because it's new matchups. Um, if you are Candy Shop Cash Mad Money, you got a match right now. If you're Shallow and Spicy Ogre, you also have a match. If you are Shoosh and Controller Quick, you also have a match right now.
If you are bacon or moth, you're just chilling right now. Cash Mad Money will win today. I'm a cash fan as well. I would love for that to happen. And also, I don't think we've seen... Um, I don't think we've seen Candy Shop today. Maybe we saw Candy Shop versus Curve Fat? I'm not sure. But we could watch that. Curve Fat versus MFRS. I'm kind of down to watch that. Maybe we'll put that on the side stream down here. And then for the main one, I really want to watch Benny and Kylo. Oh, we got Benny and right here. Because I don't think we got to see Kylo at all. Or maybe we did, but I was just busy. But both these players are making it really far for uh, me not seeing them well. Benny, I believe the player from San Diego or LA or, you know, somewhere in SoCal over there. And a, quite a good Mark player. Kylo, gonna be this Falco player, who I heard played another character in Pools too. Oh, you can't see it. Of course. Of course. Ooh, beautiful down smash. Weak backer into down smash. That was a nice little combo. Mark, what's up? How's it going? Nihanas, yo, what's up? Yeah, this Mars is definitely a favorite. Like, after watching them play in pools, they're quite good for sure. Giving all this praise to Benny. Kylo's still in there, though. Taking the first game. And I think I'm going to eat um, some food, actually. So back to the melee commentating itself. Ready, go! <laughs> 
So I'm meeting and now, so that's why <laughs> that's why there's no commentary right now. I can't blame work. Okay, though, we're gonna get winner semis up here. If there's any mods, they can start a prediction. Otherwise, I'll do it in a second. We're gonna be watching Kylo versus Orbital. Which is gonna be Falco DK. I'm gonna tag them real quick. versus Moth. Moth plays Ices. Start prediction winners semis. Ma um, Kylo versus Orbital. Doesn't Moth play Ices? Maybe you're thinking of someone else. Orbital, the red monkey. Okay. Okay. The bracket is all, or the overlay is up to date, so I'm going to tell them they can go ahead and start, and because we can see them. Hello, Orbital, if you are listening. You can start when you're ready. Good luck, have fun. And then I'll put another match on this side stream to who we got. Is Blue broadcasting? Don't think so. Any bronze bracket matches? Fur Tree and Water. Oh yeah, we can watch Fur Tree versus Water King on the bottom left. Into it though. First stock of Orbital um, Kylo. 
the water tag for a second, but pretty even here. Ooh, nice back air. I actually love the DK revolution, honestly. It's just so cool. Oh, okay, Kyle gets back. It's just so cool to see a character push more. Oh no. Oh no. That's unfortunate, but you know what I say is, it's better to SD early in the game, plenty of time to get back your momentum. It's not like the game's over, you know? Okay, here's the upper juggles. This is gonna be a huge combo. Ooh, almost gets a kill out of that, potentially. And gets another up quick kill. Ooh! Not quite enough percent. Yeah, but what started off with an SD has led to a full stock difference here in percent too. Yeah, that's the thing about edgeguarding versus DK. I feel like a lot of people aren't that comfortable versus refreshing, and then they end up just giving up ledge. Yeah, this DK is legit. Orbital used to play a lot of DK. Then I've also seen the Falcon too, um, but he, he entered Llama quite a few times, so he just doesn't enter that often. But always, they're pretty consistently a, um, a top eight threat. I don't know what the best place in Orbital has gotten, though, but I think it's top eight for sure. And looking really good here, three to one right now. The movement's looking good. The edge have been pretty good as well, and Kylo's been just getting grabbed a lot, like. You know, and, and DK grab is just so powerful right now in the meta. But the DKs are good at up throw, up airing you. They get pretty good damage off of it. Okay, nice edge guarding. Oh, and gave up ledge a little bit too early. I think that time she could have just held it. Like, no refresh even. Nice up air, no double jump. Nice, double up air gets the kill. But she's pretty far behind. Like, this is gonna be a tough game versus DK. Yes, you can control the space with lasers, but I don't feel it's not the biggest stage. Ooh, okay. The homie dash, sort of, to give that game up. So overall is gonna take the first one. We're going to game two. We got a way bigger stage, and I like this way better. DK, you know, I mean, okay, Falco, close range, you know, he really is kind of scared of laser anymore because, you know, you could potentially win a mix up where you punch the laser. Um, but at the far range, there's going to be some free lasers you get. Just like when you're at further ranges, there's like no serious counterplay to laser besides, you know, power shielding it, you know, getting a little damage back. But there's no big openings you can get from far away across the stage. And Falco, we can put on some pressure. You know, to get you in a laser sun to choose his spots right now. So, we're well, working out pretty well. You know, see when the lasers come out. I feel like, really, there weren't that many lasers game one. So, this is some good adaptation for sure. Okay, holds up though for a while, actually. Gets two. Oh, just one up there. Yeah, and I think the big thing we'll see, have to see, like, when Kylo's at zero, we're gonna have to see how she plays around not getting grabbed as much. Ooh, and that same kill actually happened in the first game. Trying to contest DK out of shield and getting, uh, getting upbeat out of shield 
versus do, doing some late shield timing. Like if they if they read your shield pressure timing, you know they'll find an opportunity to up B. In my mind, this DK is not legit. What happened? You do say something like too negative, you know. I'll you know ask you to still be respectful. I'm a hater. Okay, that's a valid thing to say, as long as you recognize it, you know. But I do want to make sure everyone feels like, you know, it's fine to be bad because everyone has weaknesses, you know. If you acknowledge them, like what the reality is, like I'm bad at this, so like I could get better at this, you know, that's how you can improve. And we all have things that we need to work on. I mean, it's okay to say people aren't, like, the best players ever who are gonna beat Mango or anything, but, and, you know, like, but these players do have strengths and weaknesses, for sure. There, there's things we can compliment them on and critique them on. They, yeah, pretty juicy up, up throw up this time, and get the beautiful kill off it. Wow, perfect timing on that key. Very nice. I would literally lose to Orbital. I feel like I might, too. And you don't know how matchups are gonna go. So. The truth about a melee is the ego and like seating and all that stuff does not actually determine the outcome. It just it's actually the gameplay. Oh nice punch. Yeah, this is a little bit of a comeback. I think Robo is gonna get the stock. Okay. Kyle made it back to stage. Okay. Yeah, she really hasn't been that confident on the edge guards. You know, early we saw a couple edge guards on the right side. Even now, okay, she gets that with an S mash. Nice. But even then, it feels like she's not quite sure what timing to go for. I kind of feel like if she could do runoff, double jump, dare, maybe you could trade or something. Or just, you know, holding ledge longer. And like going for refreshes. Up airs. Dude, like the thing is, for those of you who remember Morosa Paya, there have been some really good DK comebacks on Pokemon Stadium. Like, there was one DK comeback where, I mean, you know, oh no. You hate to see that. Like, that's such a funny mechanic in Melee, too. Like, you just have so much momentum from your movement that your jump squad gets cancelled. No jump comes out. Ooh. Yeah, that's the thing about F Smash. It's not. It doesn't go that far off, you know, and, and DK's up B. I feel like it has a good recovery range to it. Like, it, it's hard to get hit while you're doing up B. That's kind of why I think you have to go out there with down B. Oh! Huge combo. Oh, Moros won, um, Lum. I don't think that, uh, or I don't know if they still play melee, but they played melee for a bit. broadcast that we can watch right now? Let me check. Hmm. The answer is basically no.
Well, that says, I'll broadcast, thank you. But, um, I think you're not in a match right now, right? Yeah, you're waiting, so thank you, but... And right now, we'll start with you. Oh, who is this? Who do we have? Also, yeah, this is game three here. Orbital, on the back foot here. How's has been playing well. Even with the SD at the beginning, this is actually a huge dub. Laser canceled the snap, uh, the punch. This is huge. Okay, that's gonna be it. She takes it. Kylo, the newcomer to Lom. She's making it all the way to winner's finals here. Yeah, this is winner's finals. Or, that was winner's semis. Okay, no one voted on the prediction. Sorry about that. I didn't give it enough uh, attention. We're going to do another prediction. Winner's semis. It's going to be uh, Spicy Ogre, Ava, versus Moth, the Ices. And I know, I know, there's some all fans in the chat, so I'm expecting them to show up for this prediction, of course. And for Spicy Ogre, I don't know if Sir Jaxism is still here, but um, there's definitely some Spicy Ogre fans that exist. I don't know if they're still in the chat, but it would be pretty hype to see some points on the line. Okay, Spicy Ogre, Moth, overlay is looking like this. Who the heck is in the bottom left corner right now? <clears throat> Oh, fir tree versus brands. Okay, cool. Sure, we'll keep that on then, because that's all we got. Any chance at a cash stream? Um, yeah, actually, we could do that if we have the broadcast. Yeah, let's do that actually, because we've been watching uh, fir tree for a little bit. Cash mad money shallow. Okay, so I'm going to ask them to be in-game. Um, Moth, Spicy Ogre, can you let in check in-game so we can verify broadcast works? Then you can start after I have it. Oh no, they already started. Interesting. I told them to please wait, and I got a confirmation that they would do it, but they forgot. <laughs> or misunderstood, which is understandable with Discord and everything, but that's a little funny. Okay, so Moss going to be up 1-0. If you're still a believer in Spicy Ogre, put the points on. This is going to be a 2-1 for the Spicy Ogre fans. If you're a Moth believer, then you know this is rigged. Oh no, Brock, I'm talking about the winter semis set. They already started that one. But it kind of feels like... Oh, um, let me try refreshing this one more time, actually. We got the, the gameplay, and I gotta update the overlay. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, Poison, you don't understand. You know, we're game two, this is Battlefield, Nana's already dead. Even if she's down one stock, this is a pretty good game state for Falcon. It's not bad at all. Okay, a pretty good stretch in it, but winnable, it definitely is. Ooh, I was gonna say that's a double down here, but that was probably a better choice, actually. It looked like maybe Moth could have lived that. Okay, nice. Space Ogre, I've always really liked that her execution looks really sharp, and she's a pretty confident player. And I also appreciate, you know, she's pretty good vibes. Even when she loses, you know. Ooh, use a double jump there. Um, even when she loses, you know, she's still a respectful competitor, so thank you. 
Oh, is the cash bad money shallow? Um, interesting. You know, it was playing, but I'm a noob. There we go. Yeah, Battlefield, really good stage versus ICs in general. Like, most of the time, the ICs ban the stage, because the top five is just really hard for them to get to. You know, if they want to get up there, you know, you risk Nana being in a weird state, and, like, they don't even have that many threatening kickboxes. Like, compare it to, you know, like, Mark up air or Jigglypuff up air, like, you'd be like, oh, shit, like, those moves can, like, lead to potential death. But ICs up air, it's, like, not that scary. Until, like, higher percents, it's... You don't really worry about it. And even then, to, to up there up there is a commitment for sure. Ooh, Shello takes it versus Cash. Yeah, Shello definitely a spacey slayer. Spacey slayer. I think uh, Shello beat like two or three good spaces last week as an upset. And Mob might make another spacey upset here. Let's see it. Ooh, nice grab. It's really good awareness. Like, if you're sitting in shield, they attack the back of your shield as a Falco Dare, and they cross you up. It's worth pressing the, the A button. Just in case you can get that shield grab. You like that, you know? Because a lot of times people are thinking, okay, I'm attacking the back of their shield, but and so they think they're safe. But if it's a high aerial and they cross you up, you can press the A button. Ooh, go, tried to go for it again there, but Space Yogurt had good shield pressure that time. Got the shine on time. Okay, last chance. 63% though, this is tough actually. Like, I feel like one grab or smash attack from Ices here is pretty deadly. If I were Space Yogurt, I'd definitely try to get a little bit of laser damage in before committing harder. Yeah. And yeah, this is the reason, you know, you can really play on Battlefield. Like, if your platform movement is good, and you know how to get to top plat and navigate around the plats, you'll feel pretty comfortable. Like right now, Falco is definitely in control of like what can happen. Pretty scary. Like we've actually lost, or not lost, but I feel like Falco's gained more percent than Ice does. Oh, that's gonna be it, I think. Yeah, the downer hit Nana, I think, but the F smash hit. Uh, Spicy Ogre before the downer connected with the main climber. Okay, well played. So it's gonna be Moth versus Kylo in winners finals. Moth been doing really well lately at these loms, like a very consistent top eighter and third place guaranteed this week. Yeah, I was trying to respond to some work stuff, but it's fine. I'll just respond after long. Okay, so let's close this. So we got both of our winner semis done. What else do we have next here? Fur Tree versus Brands in Bronze Finals is 1 1 right now. Um, Who else we got? Sun versus Kerfat, 1 0. Shallow Cash Map Money. The bottom left corner is game three, last stock here. Hundred percent on the Marth here. Backer sends the wrong way, so Marth's living. Oh, Cash clutches it out. Wow, well played. Okay, so Moth Kylo. Um, yeah, I think actually we're just gonna go ahead into winners finals. Um, and we're going to watch that at the same time we watch winners semis too, or lower semis.
So we're going to watch Moth versus Kylo. And this is actually going to be the same matchup we just saw. Kylo, Wiener's Finals. And let's do another prediction. Let's get it up here. We got Kylo versus Moth. Okay, this time it's a real prediction, folks. It's not a weighted prediction. We don't know the outcome of game one just yet. And this is also a best of five. Just FYI. And then Moth. And then we're going to put on, in the bottom left corner, we're going to put on... Another match. It's going to be Orbital and Cash. So actually, we still have the Cash broadcast from earlier, right? So we get to see Monkey Falco. Lots of Falco today, actually. Okay, it's looking good. And then Moth Kylo for Get. It's also best of five. Go look, have fun. Can start. Okay, okay. I'll just make sure everything looked good in the, the other brackets. But here we are, game one of Winner's Finals. Already starting off with a really good start for Kylo. And you know, that's kind of one thing I wasn't sure what was going to happen. You know, Ices is definitely a rare matchup in today's Sloopy and Meta. So you, you never know how good people are going how good people are going to be at the matchup. But Kylo's looking pretty confident so far. I mean, taking the first stop and choosing a pretty good stage, I would say. Like, I feel like this is good for Falco, but I don't know. Ooh, but actually, um, she had that problem versus Orbital, too. She was not really respecting out of shield um, kill options, you know? She didn't respect the back air just now, and then she also didn't respect the DA upbeat. Nice down air find. It's really important, you know. I was talking about matchup knowledge. You have to know when you can kill Nana and how to, like, set up for that. So, for example, like, you know how she always misses her techs. She always double jumps back to stage if she can. So, like, really taking advantage of those and edge guarding her is a really consistent way to push your lead from these matchups. I don't think the cash matchup is working. Um, does cash have an opponent? He does. Okay, let me refresh it and try this. Okay. okay, orbital cash. Uh, looks like first game going orbital. Wait, P might be. I feel like that's not actually P. Ooh, the laser trader with the SMS there. Yeah, that's actually the tricky thing I just realized. Like, Nana can prevent you from getting lasered if you go for, like, a wave dash in type thing. Like, I just I don't know how... <laughs> I, like, one of their attacks will still go off or something? I don't know.
It's actually me. Unfortunately, I made this cat when I was 14. I see. That's funny. That was unfortunate. Mock had to go to the top plat maybe for invincibility, but now taking huge damage because the ice is not separated, you know, trying to save the other ice climber. And now the whole stock is gone because, uh, no offense, but Mock really, uh, well, okay, Kylo won that situation from the invincibility really hard. Yeah, so for Mock, probably something you gotta respect more than next stock. Double down air, beautiful awareness. Yeah, Kylo, you know, she found the kill on the left or right side on Nano with the down air. But she's really tuned into down air kills, like, and that's a Falco player, like, that is, it's not like up throw rest, but it's kind of like your, you know, like, up throw up air as Fox something. Like, it, it's actually such a good staple to be able to do and, like, be really aware for, like, anytime you get a down air at the ledge, if they're not sliding it off, if they have the DI where you think you can reach it, you have to be instantly ready to go for another down air. Oh, oops. Apparently I forgot to set it to best of three, or best of five, so it's, uh... Okay, they're playing. Hopefully they know it's, uh, actually best of five. become best of five. Can I not save it or something? Yeah. yeah, I guess I didn't save it. That's crazy. Is that cracked an orbital in the bottom left? Yes, it is. Kylo is, um, California somewhere. If you change it after it started, you have to restart the match? Yes. I'm gonna tell him that, but... But yeah, that's my bad. I hope they, um... <laughs> well, I told them in Discord as well to get to 5, so... Hopefully they know it's best of 5. Um... For, for the winners' quarterfinals, they're actually still in uh, best of three. And Orbital takes it 2 0 over Cash. Well played. I'm going to switch the broadcast to Spicy Ogre versus Benny then. Miss Let's Dash from from off there. So bottom left corner is going to game three. Ooh, nice grab. Oh no! Oh no, Nana. That's unfortunate. Mark, it is my bad, but I legit told them it was best of five before they started. Okay, so I'm gonna reset it then.
just to get their attention. Um, yeah, Moth, sorry. So it's it's a best of five. I mentioned that in Discord, but I for I didn't update the Star GG properly. Sorry about that. So I was trying to get your attention. But you can just choose the stage counter picks in Discord from now on for this set, and then I'll update the set afterwards. Cool. We're going to Battlefield, same characters still, and it's 1-1 one, one now. Yeah, I feel like, you know, we've had a surprising number of Icy Champs. We've had Arnondo, we've had Bist, aka Lop, aka Brin, aka her other tags. Uh, did we have another Icy? We've had Neptune, we've had Spots. We've had a lot of Icy's actually, now that I mention it. And we've had zero Dr. Mario wins. Nice edge guard. That's a pretty interesting edge guard actually, that you have like Nana roll, like and then the main fire can cover stage. like that down throw into down smash just like I feel like a lot of people are gonna miss that deck Ooh, yeah but she's been having that problem like really her edge guard timing and judging it's it's a really similar recovery to DK actually you know side B like um, spinning sure the trajectory trajectory is a little bit different but it's a pretty similar idea actually Ooh, holding in there against re-grab Luckily for um, for Kylo, I do think there's more room for, for Moth to get more of these grab punishes. But she's been able to live because of it, you know. Okay, dies for that one, though. Too much percent. Grab that smash, very nice. Ooh, gets to grab all the spot dodge, I like that. straight up a bunch. I don't know if that's a misinput and it's trying to be something else, but... Ooh, nice. I see they're separated here. Really nice edge guarding. You know, a lot of people will tell you versus Icy, you know, you really want to focus Nana, and it is true, like, when Nana's dead, the neutral and punish game for Icy is so much worse, so it can really simplify things. But there are going to be these opportunities where you can just kill the main climber. Yeah, so look at that. Even if you get up air to a oh okay, that the DI was so far to the right. But even if you get hit with up air, it's not that scary. It could be way worse. I like that Mod is still going for ledge dashes, even though he had an SD do earlier. Still being confident enough to do your game plan is good. And staying composed to not SD again, of course. There were two DKs, I think Monkey Man entered tonight. Yes, there were two DKs. Monkey Man had to DQ because of homework, but two DKs entered for sure. Okay, pretty good, pretty good damage. Oh yeah, also Salt in Your Eye, another Icy player who won. Ooh, unfortunate air dodge. 
Press an R a little bit too late. Poor Ellen. Ooh, gets a raw grab. Yes, and oh, that up B was a little bit scary for sure. Like, Ices were already on the platform, so it made for an easy smash deck. But that's what I was saying earlier. Like, even if you hit an up air as Ices, you know, you had to full hop up here, and then, like, it's kind of hard to hit that back air, like reverse back air in that kind of spot too, like, to hit to the left. So even if it, even if the back air hit to the right, it's like, not the worst thing. Okay, wait, I'm actually gonna tell Spicy and Orbital, can you two also wait for Junior's finals to finish? Okay, okay, so I'm gonna ask Orbital and Spicy Ogre, who are waiting in lower semis, to wait. Um, actually... Oh, well. they actually already started. My bad, I was not paying attention. But we got actually on the bottom left here. Okay, should be fine timing wise actually. So let's just change this overlay name Spicy Ogre versus Orbital. This is also going to be a best of five in the bottom left. The second stock or third stock here for even game. Ooh, double F smash on the back of Icy Shield. I was gonna say, Mark is finding a lot of graphs. I do wish he could extend the combos a little bit more. Like getting one re grab, little, getting one re grab is good, but I just have a lot of potential to do some stuff. I don't know all the details, but it feels. Like, there could be more there, I think. Okay. I will look in at game 5 here, potentially. Ooh. Yeah, she's trying to go for shield pressure, but ends up getting grabbed. Again, shield grabbed. Definitely something she's got to look for. In general, the shield pressure has definitely been a double-edged sword for Kylo. Like, sometimes she's made it work, but getting grabbed a lot is, is really scary versus uh, a lot of characters. Okay, pretty good game state. Playing this well with space. But getting grabbed from the laser... Oh my god, that's gonna be it, isn't it? Jumped into that down smash, I think. Moth taking it 3-1 over Kylo. Well played. Okay, so Moth's going to be sitting in winner's side of Grand Finals. Very hype for the Moth Believers. I'm looking at this bracket for Moth. Moth has to play Cash Mad Money, who's a Falco, Spicy Ogre, who's a Falco, and then Kylo, who's also a Falco. So lots of Falcos. It might be a Falco-only bracket. We'll see. 
Anyways, so we got Spicy Ogre and Orbital in the bottom left corner. Um, I think that I'm going to put that on the main one right now. So let me change this. Let me pull up Curve Fat versus Controller quick if we have it. Okay, we don't have that. So yeah, I'm just going to go up here. And this score is going to be, what is it right now? It's 1-0 in favor of Spicy Ogre. Been struggling with that today, like the edge guarding of DK up me. Oh, I love down B being used in combos. Oh my god, Orbital! Oh my god. Okay, though, even though I was really, um, really wild by that combo, but yeah, they're still in the lead by a full stop here on Stadium. I also don't really know the DK counter picks. Like, is FD good versus Falco? We're getting shook around with a high back air. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought, but we didn't choose it, and this is the best of fives. Ooh, the lip is there even down there is going to seal the deal. Lucky for Ogre, she had another stock. She's going to go up 2-0 right now. Let me check the broadcast again. Do we have any other ones? Curve Fat, Controller Quick, Fur Tree, and Dirty Mike. Okay, we actually do have Fur Tree and Dirty Mike. So I'm going to pull that up. That get up attack bullshit. Get up attacks, <laughs> it can be a good move for sure. But it, you know, just like everything else in melee, there's ways to beat it. So, last counterpick from Orbital in this set, you know, you can't counterpick any more stages after down 2-0. Nice upbeat, oh, but couldn't get Legend Hand. Oh, the punch could have been crazy. Still gets the up smash, very nice. I mean, I definitely think the tricky part of it is like, you know, if you try to do like an aerial or something like that, or is it like if they're on the platform, it can be tough. Ooh, he gets the grab out of being invincible. 
That's what I'm talking about, everyone. Like, you gotta respect the invincibility of the opponent when respawn. Oh my god! That was a really nice tiny mix up on the upbeat. I like the idea. Wow, gets the kill. I like the way Orbital's playing right now, for sure. Ooh, jumped into that fair. I, I like that fair, too. He gets wrapped out of the side B. Okay, guns there. Oh, nice ledge grab, but didn't hold it. Didn't believe. Ooh, and then dying for the side B. That's tough, but... But that's still in a great spot. Like, this is a lot for time on Falco. A good back air. Just gonna start an intro at the very least. Nice. Well, I love that there's a mix-up between up B and up smash. That's so cool. Like, I was really expecting the up smash, so I can understand why you pulled out. Nice. Very nice punishes on FD. Well played. So, Yoshi's for game four. I actually think this is fine for DK, honestly. Ooh, dude, she's quite good at those fairs. Like, she finds good spots for them. I wish, you know, we could have seen a really good conversion. Like, we've seen some beautiful fairs, but it would be even more beautiful if she had finished it some of these times. Like, because it really can lead to something, I swear. But yeah, like, like I said earlier, you know, you don't have that much room to laser on the stage. And I feel like DK's combos are pretty powerful on this stage still. Nice. Red ledge? Yeah, nice. I was worried that he got up a little bit too early, but... The one thing that is good on for the stage is Falco is you can kill a shine off the top. Even if it's DK, you know. Here's the invincibility. Oh my god, I was really worried that something bad was gonna happen there. Nice double up air and the F smash. Ooh, I really like that. Goes for up B instead of a grab there. Yeah, DK's really keeping up punish wise with up. Oh! Yeah, everyone's been giving up ledge a little bit too early. I really need to time it better. You could definitely get from these kills. Oh my, I thought that was going to be a shine down air or something. This is a huge combo. Wow. Something that Spicy Ogre with a full lead here. Full stop. Ooh, went for a jump instead of shield grab there. Oh, is that going to kill? Is. Nice. Up these versus the double laser and no jump after that. Oh, the down air barely lasted long enough to get that kill. Very nice, very nice. So it's gonna be spicy ogre taking it 3-1 over orbital. GG's. Orbital orbital though, fourth place, I think might be orbital's highest placing. Nice run today.
Okay, so now we get to see a matchup we didn't get to see in winners. It's going to be a Falco Ditto between Spicy and Kylo. Okay, I put the prediction up. Spicy Ogre versus Kylo. You know, I feel like it's actually a rare magic for Lom. We don't usually have this many Falcos. Okay, Ron, the prediction is up, just as another reminder. We've got 3k on Spicy Ogre. We've got zero on Kylo right now, so it's prime prime real estate for anyone who wants to make some points, potentially, by betting on the underdog. Orbital, nice run today. I was wondering, actually, is fourth place your highest placing in long before? Because was a, I was very impressed. I know you've gotten top eight before. Yeah, it's your highest? Very nice. You had some really good combos today. Like the FD game was a really great punish. I can't remember. The, I feel like you had some really creative stuff in general. I liked it. There's still zero on Kylo, by the way. Come on, people. Kylo fans or points fans, it's only wise to bet with underdog. Oh my god, we got a dev dog raid. Hello, hello everyone from Dev Dog Stream. As usual, we gotta give a huge shout out to Dev Dog. Thanks for the raid, Dev Dog. Dev Dog XX. If you weren't following Dev Dog, please do so. She's a TO for the Melee Online community, runs a bunch of great tournaments, runs weekly melee online. Yeah, so please check out twitch.tv slash devdog xx. Follow if you're not already doing so. And actually, speaking of tournaments Dev Dog's involved in, I believe Dev Dog helps out with, you know, daily. I don't know if 
devs doing West Coast 2 or that's Poison now? I, I don't really know what the deal is. But I did hear from Poison that Kylo entered Gaylee. Gaylee? I don't know what to say. Gaylee? Yeah, like Melee. Um, and so we got some representation representation from Gaylee. Right now. Yeah. We're basically at the end of this tournament because we're in Losers Finals. And we got two Falcos here in Losers Finals. And then we got an uh, Ice Climber player named Moth in Winner's, Final, Winner's Side Rams. It's pronounced Gaylee. Thank you. Ally tries to pronounce Gaylee. Dude, okay. You know, like, even though I know it's supposed to rhyme with melee, in my head, it just looks like it should be said Gaylee. I don't know. That's just what it, it looks like. Like, melee looks like it should be said melee, too, if you had to ask me. Not like lay. Anyways, but <laughs> my opinion on pronunciation, I'm not an expert. I, I will admit that. I think most people say gaily. I see. But it's supposed to rhyme with gay with melee, so who knows? Anyways, back to the match. I wasn't sure how these two were gonna match up, you know. Um, ooh, nice. nice punish. Good awareness though to get that CC down smash for the kill. I do think one of um, Kylo's weaknesses from earlier, you know, like the shield pressure and getting reversaled off, ooh, getting reversaled off uh, high arrows on shield isn't a huge factor in this matchup because, you know, the other Falco is not going to be grabbing you that much. But even so, Spicy Over's Punish, I think, is just really keeping her on top right now. Nice. Oh, yeah. That one actually, she could have been a little bit more aware of and gotten the down air, but it was still beautiful. And 1 0 right now. Where do we end on the prediction, by the way? It was someone put one point for Kyla. Thank you. If you win, you'll have to take the 3K that's on Spicy Ogre. So, Fir Tree Dirty Mike, bottom left corner is Silver Losers Finals. And that's uh, game five over there on FD. Ready, go. Okay, here we are, except there's different characters on the screen. Kylo switching to Fox here. Oh, beautiful! That was so nice. I think in Melee, you know, there's so much creativity you can have. And for me, when people do stuff that I don't expect, it's just, it's so awesome. Because it's like, wow, like, you know, you're you're breaking my mind here. Like, my reaction time was, like, slow because you wowed me. Oh! She was a little bit uh, hesitating on that. Like, I, I definitely feel like she would have gotten that down here. Did these two both play in uh, Gaily recently? I, I know um, Kylo did. Great shine spike. Yeah, that's the evil awareness you have to have as Fox. Like, you know, you they're in the corner. I can get a shine spike here. <laughs> Ooh, goes for dash attack at really low percent. Ends up working out though. Ooh, again, actually, that's something Ogre can look to punish. Those dash attacks are really risky. Oh, she's still going for it. I mean, now it's high percent. It's a little bit better, but even now, it's still like something that's punishable if you shield a little bit more or just, uh, you know. Oh, 
actually, I guess shielding some more. Oh, nice. Nice one. Okay, last well, stop. Ooh, yeah, but these players, I need to be really careful on the invincibility. Like, so far there's been so many, like, huge punishes off invincibility. Yeah, that was a perfect shine of the shield opportunity. But accidentally on light shield? That's the game. Well played. Okay, so Fox working out. So we got to run back on FD, and I mean, I think that's reasonable. The stage went fine. I don't think that's a re huge reason he lost, but it is a reason the Fox was uh, having some good punishes. I do think so. Yeah, there's so many dash attacks. I would love to see Space Ogre get some good reversals off it, because like, I really think right now Kylo's just going for it so much. You should be able to read it one of these times. Look at this, like, it, it was like three dash attacks in a row. I think she, she can really be more aware of it. Ooh, nice and error. I like that. Kyle's been doing a really good job of just finding raw grabbing you. You know, you don't think of it as the most normal fox opening, but if you can get it, it's gonna be juice. So fox grab is so great. They trade dash axe there. Yeah, it's nice. Pretty good punish if it was only strong back air would have worked. Oh, that one's gonna hurt. And it looks like Spicy Ogre is gonna go down in the set count, but. Unless she really works it out here. You know, I really don't think um, Kylo's looked super comfortable dealing with lasers. Like, if Spicy Ogre played a little bit more patient, just forced Kylo to deal with the lasers more. I think it worked out really well, potentially. Okay, it's working out well right now. Ooh, got stuck on ledge and not turning the winner. But this is still a great comeback so far. I mean, we're about to see an even game. Wow. Nice read to go for high. But you can okay. Dies off the top of the back air. Let's see the invincibility situation. Okay, actually, she's been scaring me with that too, Spicy Ogre has been, because she goes for double jump, like instant double jump, a lot, and, you know, it's Falco, you could die there, for sure. Like, you go instant double jump, you don't want to have to do it if you don't have to. Good for ops, good work. They're both looking for dash attack. Okay, nice DI, nice back air as well. Okay, let's see it. Okay, couldn't quite get the right angle. 
Actually, in the, the moth set too, I think she was going straight up a little bit too. So this time Spicy Ogre makes a pretty big comeback. It was three stocks to one, but Spicy clutches it out. How are we doing on the other sets? Let me look at here. So Dirty Mike Brands is going to Bronze Grand Finals over there. Bacon Curve Fat is Losers Finals and Silver. Yeah, I guess we'll put on um, Dirty Mike if we have it. Oh, we don't have it. We have Brands, though, so we'll do that. Ganon Fox for Bronze Grand Finals. Game four, sticking with the fox. I mean, it looks like we're gonna have the fox the whole set. Ooh, couple standing lasers in a row. Not the most confident execution, but we're warming up. We're getting used to staying with the platforms again. Yeah, see, that's when I want to see get punished. Like, the dash attack was so low percent, like, it, it didn't do anything. Free Bobby, what's up? Nice tech chase. Ooh, that other one was great. Dash decks. I really think you gotta hone in on the dash decks. And I think shielding is a pretty good way to do it. Like, if you can unexpectedly show shield as a mix up, not just hold. Like, you have to, like, do stuff in the shield, you'll be able to reversal stuff out of shield a lot. Like, dash deck is just so la laggy. Like, as long as you don't try to shield grab it from too close, ooh, that was a mega down there. Um, you should be able to get an aerial out of shield to beat it to punish, or beat the end lag of it, I think. Ooh, Kylo's been finding some really good up airs. Very nice. Nice double down air. I feel like Spicy Ogre, she's been missing her dash sometimes. Like, a lot of these times, I really think she can get it down in her into a kill off stage. Mm. Cleans it up, anyways. Nice edge guarding. You know, I think a lot of the players today have been really good about attacking before the other person lands on those edge guards. So, not giving them another double jump opportunity is really the way to get the kill. Ooh, nice. Really confident on the missed tech and goes for an up smash there. What's the Nicolette? Anyone shopping for Don't Park on the Grass merch? I saw that they had a dog collar. So if anyone's interested in buying that for their dog or for themselves, you can. Ooh, nice up there. Oh, beautiful up there. Oh my. Oh, it's still going. Yeah, no double jump now because the up you launched. Okay. Survives it, but at 104%. We're gonna have to see some magic. I think that might be it. Yeah, I thought it too far. Okay. Very, very nice run from Kylo. First time entering Lom, making all the way to third place today. Very nice. But Spicy Ogre gonna be taking it. So the person who bet 3k points, you survive. The person who bet one point on Kylo, um, why is betting? You didn't invest that much. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna get Spicy Ogre versus Moth in winners or grand finals. Um and this is the rematch. These two play in winner semis. It was a 2-0 over Moth. Oh, and I remember the instant double jumps were killer for sure. Like 
I think for I think for spicy over she needs to be more careful about that like that's one thing I can think of I'm not sure about the rest of it though we'll see okay so prediction up is up for set one only if you think you know someone's gonna win differently in set two then hold your predictions for that but right now we're just gonna do set number one moth the ice climbers from Bellingham Washington versus Spicy Ogre, the Falco from NorCal, Bay Area. Grand Finals. Okay. I'm gonna get some water. Everyone else remember to hydrate as well. This is my first grand. Oh, that's right. Well, good luck. Have fun. The spotlight's on you. Slowly confusing name. Spice the Ogre. If you win, we'll do a winner's interview if you want, and you can explain the lore of your name. Or you can explain it in Twitch chat. Um, I have Spicy Ogre's broadcast open. Let me just check if they've been connecting yet. Okay, they haven't yet, but Moth is here, and then Spicy Ogre is in chat, so we should be starting soon. Both players are here. Perfect. Also, Silver Grand Finals is starting now, and then Bronze Grand Finals is in the bottom left corner. This looks good. I'm gonna make sure they know they can start. Here we are. Blah, blah, blah. Here we are. Grand Finals in Lom, number one zero six. Oh my God! I realized why this looked weird. I was like, why can I see the level one melee logo? Because uh, my thing isn't over here. Where is this supposed to be? Is it this? No. Uh, it's this. Okay, there we go. Now you can see the chat. Okay, you can't see level one melee. We're back into the game, though. Spicy Ogre starting off really strong. Ooh, but she gets caught there, and I think this is death. Ooh, man, everyone's been giving up legs a little too early today. Nice, seal with the uh, mana. Um, punish them with the wave dash in. Yeah, that's something so important versus Ice Climbers. You know, they can't really dash dance, so a lot of times if you just throw out wall moves, you know, you'll be able to catch them coming in. Like, not always, right? There's there's mix-ups to it, but it can be a really strong option to make sure you have it now, just throwing them moves. Especially if, you know, they're an aggressive Ice Climbers player who's like, who likes the way that shit. You might be able to find it, right? A good timing. We got maybe like 15 seconds left on the prediction. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, like 15, 20 seconds left by the time you hear this because of the delay. So please put your points on the line. Spicy Ogre versus Moth. Oh, excellent. The Free Bear shows up in the Dover Perfect. 
Ooh, yeah. That was actually an opportunity to punish that side B on the ground, but Spicy Ogre a little bit too trigger happy on the double jump. So just got out of there instead of going for a punish potentially. Yeah, actually, that's something I noticed. You know, Moth really thrived on the missed techs. Like, if you can hit some more of these techs, I think it'll be way. Like a really strong way to mitigate the damage from punishes. Okay, raw back air doesn't quite get the kill in time. Ooh, same thing as earlier, actually. People challenging the back of Moss Shield getting back air. I know it was Kylo, but, you know, really similar situation. Miss attack on the, the back row. Okay, nice. Kills Nana. That's a good spot here, too. Okay. She's a little bit behind, but she's actually made some bigger comebacks today. Grab, grab. Nice. Ooh, I don't know if it was a shield poke or what happened there. Oh, dude, everyone's been giving up ledge a little bit too early. Even if you roll, you still have to time it. Right, get a shield grab. That's probably gonna be it. Mog is so back, baby. Some mob fans. Nice. Ooh, yeah, and that's what I was talking about too. Attacking the back of the shield and doing a cross up. Uh, you might get shield grabbed. But gets it down there. Moth accidentally jumps into it, I think. And we're actually like pretty dead even, I would say. Shines. Instead of going for an aerial, you know, and getting that shield grab timing from earlier, that shine is a really good mix up. Okay, gets ledge. Oh, but gets shield grabbed out of the double laser. Yeah, I don't know that the double laser is going to be effective. You know how earlier I was talking about, like, if the laser hits one of the climbers, then you're kind of screwed if the other one's already, like, mid action. You know, the laser isn't going to be able to stuff both of them, I think. At least I think that's how it works, so. It's double lasering from ledge like that, I don't think it's going to be worth it versus ice climbers. Unless they're further away, you know, and maybe it's going to stuff one of them, but if they're right there, you could definitely get counter hit. There we go. Battle on Battlefield. I mean, I do think this is going to be the best stage. You know, you've got a lot of platforms to work with. And your pull combos are going to be good here still. Ooh, but getting shield grab. I mean, really the thing is, like, versus Ice Climbers with a good punish, you, 
can't give them that many grabs. Otherwise, you're gonna get outpunished. Like, the truth is, it's kinda like the Jigglypuff matchup, it's kinda like the Marth matchup, you know? You have to out neutral them as uh, the basic player. Because you pretty much can't out punish them if you give them the, their best openings. Moth already starting off really strong. Side being neutral? People use it these days. Nice down here on Nana. Laser down so Spicy Ogre is still in this game. Let's see how the invincibility goes. Okay, avoid it. Top left. Very useful. Ooh, but just like that, like the laser getting jabbed into grab there. Really good. Like, I guess I was talking earlier about how lasers are really nice, you know, if you have more space, but recently I think there's been it's been too close. And a lot of them have been getting punished. Great shine. Yeah, look at that up there, not that much. Even now, like, it just, it's one hit. It's, it's fine. Ooh, I wonder if, uh, Moth jumped into that down air. Able to reverse it really quickly. Also, I believe bottom left corner is game five. Dirty Mike coming from losers. Brands from winner's side. Good game too. So we're really anxious to get back to center stage. Ends up eating some percent for it. Grabs the back air. Oh, really nice grab from off. Okay, bubble down air, but this is kind of too tough. Like, versus the Icy's. You kind of expect to have some messy stocks. Like, it's pretty rare you get clean stock for Zyce. Unless you can kill Nana really efficiently. But just the fact that you're going to have to hit two of them sometimes means you get counter hit. Okay, here's, an, here's a clean opening. That was very nice. Let's see what it leads to. See, just getting down there. Not too bad when you play it. Spicy Ogre tried to go for an overshoot cross up down air, but it didn't quite work out. Also, Dirty Mike taking the bottom left corner set. 3-2 means there's going to be a reset in bronze.
Looks like we're going back to Battlefield for game three. So, Spicy Ogre trusting in this counter pick. I think it's been okay. You know, I do think the core theme is getting grabbed too much. You know, like, if you're risking this over the cross up dares and stuff like that, um, you gotta make sure they work. Because in theory, it can be safe, but you really have to know who you're attacking and, like, uh, judging for the distance properly. Because otherwise, you do just get shield grabbed. Ukumele, what's up? What's up? We are on the verge of seeing a moth dub potentially. It's 2 0 winner side. Things are looking good for the moth fans. Silver fans, though, don't give up. We just saw reverse trio last week. You know? She's trying to slow the pace of the game down, and it's going okay. You know, I feel like things are pretty neutralized when she's using platforms and open lasers, but. Even with that neutralized, you know, you're still gonna have to figure out how to get your openings in. Make a lead. Ooh, goes for fair and gets shield grabbed here. Luckily, hits the tech. Very nice. Doesn't get uh, any more damage other than the down throw. But Nana somehow dies randomly. Top platform, I really like that recovery. Talked about it earlier, I see have a hard time getting up there. But Moth's picking some really good spots to challenge um, Spicy Ogre when she lands. Which, like, he's finding just so many good, like, whip punch dash attacks and, you know, like, just find in the landing. With Spicy Ogre. Ooh, nice raw grab. Okay, this might be an edge guard. I accidentally get some F to it, I think. It might be an icicle mountain, indeed. We'll see. Nana somehow randomly dies, you know? So. <laughs> okay, nice edge guarding. One more time. Oh, great recovery. The pullback from Moth made him live, but. Fortunately. Or unfortunately, excuse me, it's a red dash. Okay. Looking really good in this last game here. 42%. You can almost taste it. It's a mop dove question mark. There's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Feels like one grab could be it. Oh, there's the grab. Excellent gets F though. Even now, like back air is probably gonna be it. Or any smash deck. It's out the shield grab that time. But the up air? It's gonna be an up air that kills? Oh my god. The whole set I was talking about how up air is not that scary, but when it's high enough percent, if you DI it out, it's gonna be enough knockback. Okay, Moth W, folks. The level one melee, one zero six champion. It's Moth. Big congrats to Moth. Uh, let me reward the points. Moth Believers. I'm gonna look this up too. I'm wondering, um, you know, the Moth? Wait, Smasher's app. If I look up Moth. I'm 
I'm gonna look at tournaments, events, level one melee. Is this gonna work? Okay, so the first level one melee that Moth entered was number 74. Um, basically a year ago, actually. I actually wanna check, when was Moth's first tournament? Moth's first tournament, sort by date, ascending. Okay, and then Moss first tournament looks like it was in 2023. So Moss been playing for maybe a year, at least Star GG data says so. Oh, actually, we got Moss in the chat. Moss says, holy shit, man. GG's, dude, I'm shaking so hard. GG's. Moth, I hope you know, you'll get to watch this VOD back and you got tons of support. Tons of Bellingham showed up to cheer you on. The Moth dub was glorious. I started in June last year. Oh, sick, sick. Okay, um, Moth, if you want, we can do a winner's interview. Um, I'll DM you on Discord and we can just call there. Um, in the meantime, I'm just gonna put this uh, other match here and we'll just leave that plan. I love an interview, sick. Okay, I'm gonna set up this overlay real quick and then I'll call you um, after I plug in my headphones and everything. Okay, this is actually one one two. And of course, very nice run to Spicy Ogre. She didn't win today, but second place, I believe is her highest placing because she said it was for her first time in Grand Finals. And hopefully we'll see her back soon. Okay, plugging this in. Okay, Moth, if you're listening to the stream, I'm calling you on Discord. At least I'm pretty sure this is you. Yeah, okay, your profile matches and everything. This is the right Moth. Just making sure I'm not calling someone random. Oh, hi. Hello, um, let's do another volume check. Could you say, hello, I'm the level one melee champ? Hello, I am the level one melee champ. Okay, I think it's a little bit loud, maybe. So I'm gonna turn you down slightly. Everyone yeah, else no let worries. me know in chat uh, what it needs to be adjusted for. But big congrats. <laughs> I know you already said it in chat that you're shaking, but how are you feeling? Oh Tell my me gosh. what your thoughts are right now. Sorry, I, I actually forgot I had the stream audio on, so the last like five seconds was oh, in, yeah. unintelligible, sorry. <laughs> let me repeat it, no worries. I just said, I know you said in Twitch chat, you said you're shaking, but I just want to hear, you know, how are you feeling? What are your thoughts right now? Tell me. Uh, I'm, I was so scared I wasn't going to get the long win in time. I, so I'm feeling really relieved. I I feel like I, I kind of got a really lucky bracket today. Like I dodged like all of my problem matchups and kind of just got the bird gauntlet. But oh, you, regardless. You have to play... Wait, all all Falco in bracket? Is that right? All Falco in main. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, because I feel like in the past I I usually am able to get like a good upset, but I'll end up losing to like a Marth or for a while, like I think three loms in a row, I kept running into a peach, like sweatpants or mm -hmm. like pimp and spicy. Yeah. But I don't know. I was like I mean, I think I already said this, but you said that there was gonna, this was like the second to last long for the season. So I was, there was a big panic in me of like, oh my gosh, I might never get my chance. But so I, I am really surprised. I was not expecting to go this far today. I was hoping for like fifth. Yeah, I feel like that's actually a common theme. Like people, when they tell me they win, a lot of them are like, you know, I wasn't expecting to win today, but I was just playing well, you know, or calm. And so it worked out. Yeah. I, I had to clutch up so many times. It was 
So scary. Like, I feel like the amount of times I was, like, down 50 or 60 last stock while they're at none, and I was able to bring it back, had, had to be at least, like, three or four times. Oh, yeah, and we it, saw a lot it, on the stream, so I think, I think they're recorded. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I felt like I, I just kept a really level head throughout all of it, and that was able to keep me from, like, choking, because I just get in my head really bad. Nice. And, yeah, what, what I'll say about, you know, uh, long, because you were saying earlier, like, oh, I got a little bit bracket lucky. It is true, you know, for bracket luck, you know, it, it, it doesn't mean you can beat, like, every single person in the bracket or you've bested all your matchups, yeah. but it does mean you beat everyone who was good on the day, you know? You beat all the Falcos who beat all the other players, right? And it means yeah, like, they're good, exactly. too. Exactly. I just... I didn't get a lot of marks, and that's what I think my key to success was. <laughs> I mean, you beat uh, Hot Daniel, who was on a run today, too. Hot Daniel beat some good players, Oh. Sure. Yeah, Hot Daniel's very good. Uh, him and I, we go to the same local. So nice. yeah. I feel like I, we're, we're both very familiar with how each other's plays. Like, we go back and forth all the time. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, he's a very, very good Marth. I can see him going far. For sure. Oh, my Let's gosh. Yeah, I... Sorry, I, I, I can't... When I freak out, I just babble. <laughs> Oh no, like now is your time to babble. Like you have the stream, we're all cheering for you. You know, there there was actually so many people from Bellingham that I know that were like rooting for you. It was a good crowd. Like oh, I saw Yeah, no, I was like posting in every group chat I'm in for <laughs> Bellingham. I was like, guys, guys, look, like, I'm on a I'm on a run. I'm on a run. Get in, get in, get in. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, let's just uh, just doesn't i still am not fully processing it yeah no i mean i think it makes sense you know in melee like if you've experienced painful frustrating defeats like when you get a dub that you're proud of it feels amazing you know the, the yeah, low lows I, actually do make the highs what they are this i'm pretty sure this is my first bracket one ever yeah, yeah so that, that, makes sense. that feels like a huge milestone it is i, I will say like if I had to guess, I think most people who try melee tournaments, you know, they're not going to get to the level where they win a LOM, actually. Or, like, they won't get to experience that. So, you know, get to enjoy it. Yeah. You, you know, like, get to feel that and, like, think about it tonight. You're like, oh, I want a tournament. Yeah, it's it feels really good. I'll be real. I saw um, Mellow rated, and, mm -hmm. like, him and I just did, like, a really big coaching session yesterday. So mm -hmm. When I saw you rated, I was like, oh, my gosh, I got the, I got the Mellow blessing. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this doesn't feel real. I'm so happy. Thank you for hosting this. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I think we right. can actually start to wrap it up because uh, I don't want to keep you too late. Um, yeah, so, of course. Final thoughts? Any last words? Any shout outs? Go for it. Uh, let's go pee bag. Let's go pee bag. Let's go pee bag. I did this for Peter Bag. Of its aka p bag and i don't know shout out all the ICs that helped me i see discord lop callahan they were very big and like teaching me a bunch of shit very 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 appreciative also thank you for toing i had a lot of fun no problems happy to have you and if you're interested yeah. there are the champ events i'll make sure you are looped in on those too if you're curious um, oh, I and... am dying to know. <laughs> Excellent. Well, okay, Ma, have a good one and enjoy the uh, win. Have a great night. Thank you. See ya. See ya. Cool, folks. And congrats to Dirty Mike on winning bronze. Congrats to Blooms for winning 3 2 over Kerfat, actually. Kerfat going all Falco in, in Grand Finals and made it 3 2. Very impressive. Um, but yeah, our tournament's all wrapped up. Dirty Mike, winner of bronze. Bloobs, winner of silver. And Moth, winner of gold. Poison Orbital, no problem. Happy to have you both around. Um, let me see. So yeah, that's all wrapped up. Um, while I still have everyone's attention, I want to say, um, you know, we got our doubles event coming up soon. If you are a long player... I highly, highly encourage trying dubs out. There's a thread or like a, a form section of the Discord called Find a Dubs Partner. It's underneath the mentality discussion channel. 
And there's like so many champs who have signed up who would love to play dubs with you because there's no champs can't team with each other. Um, but you as non-champs can team with a champ to enter. So I highly recommend like, you know, all those champs are really nice people. They've been around the community for a while and want to just introduce more people to dubs. If you've never played it, it's going to be a blast. Like it's fun to like try a new game mode and like improve in melee in different ways. And like, you can actually do so many creative things in melee. Like, okay, let me tell you this. If you hate camping in melee, it's impossible to camp it in dubs. If you hate like the staleness of melee, you think like sometimes it gets repetitive. That's not gonna happen in dubs either. There's just so many different variations. And if you have ADHD, there's so many things going on in dubs that you're gonna be entertained and you're gonna be stimulated. Um, you know, so if, and maybe, if, I don't know if that's how that things work, but I feel like people are very stimulated in dubs. Sometimes it's overstimulating, but you know, uh, it's gonna be a good time. Anyways, check out that Threads channel. I also made a post in the tournament notifications channel about some resources for dubs. If you wanna watch some videos on like just information about dubs and like how to get into it and like how to start practicing it a little bit, um, check out the tournament notifications channel. Um, I'll post it again. And I'm also going to um, be um, messaging people <laughs> to sign up for dubs because it's going to be a lot of fun. But like we talked about in the Moth interview, next week is going to be the last week of singles. Then the week after that's going to be dubs and then the playoff event after that. So keep that in mind for scheduling. If you want to enter, tell your friends to enter. Last week's going to be the last singles and then dubs after that. And then the playoffs on Saturday. We are also still looking for people to help with the playoffs. So if you want to play in the playoffs, you have to qualify by being, have gotten ninth or better at a lawn before. Um, so if you don't qualify or you're just interested in helping by streaming or commentating, uh, please hit me up. We are very uh, interested in getting some more help for that too. When are singles coming back? Er, um, probably not in 2024. Um, we might have some like events every now and then, but it won't be weekly. Um, for November and December. I mean, if people like in the community want to host it weekly, that might happen, but I will be not, I will not be hosting it weekly during the break, but we might have events every once in a while. Congrats Moth, I think. Yes, congrats Moth. Okay, that was my spiel. Um, thank you for listening. Makhun, um, People do generally host events though, even if it's not me, some people host them. So make sure you have notifications on for the Discord and check it out every once in a while. People host. Okay, let's see who we can raid. Um, I think we've raided Adam Smash series for the past few times. Uh, we can raid Goody, Smash player from Australia, I believe. Yeah, I'm just seeing if there's anyone else we know. Wait, Spicy Ogre? She's still streaming after this? We can rate her. Okay, yeah, we'll raid Spicy Ogre. Okay. Raid Spicy Ogre. Dirty Mike, I basically just told people to sign up for dubs and reminded people of the schedule and reminded people 11-2 is the playoffs event. If you are interested in helping by streaming or commentating, please let me know. And you can enter the playoff event if you place neither better. You know, I'll send out the information for that again too. But okay, good night everyone. Uh, let's say hi to Spicy Ogre. See ya, thank you for the support. <laughs>